about to do their thing. Yep, we're going to be seeing Rob versus Rob Sonic. Uh, so one thing that I think Rob can struggle with sometimes is when when someone's in Rob's face, Rob doesn't have a whole lot of uh, get off me tools. Down tilt. Well, okay, yeah. But. Forward t forward air, up air, okay. up tilt. Yeah, gyro. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'll Are leave. you sure about that, I'll Force leave. Armor? <laughs> But maybe I understand what you mean. Maybe, maybe against a character as speedy and in your face as Sonic the Hedgehog, maybe mm -hmm. I can understand that because Sonic is good at like weaving in and out. He can honestly like poke holes even in like the Rob down tilt forward air defense. Yeah, uh, great at that sort of uh, just outside of Rob's range. There yeah, like look at that. He's using his burst options to honestly. Pr okay, He's I was like, fine. Uh, I know, but it it looks wild. Yeah, Sonic definitely like has the tools to like pressure Rob between his like super amazing, like look at me, you can't get through this wall. Mm -hmm. I loved uh, Dill up airing through both of those springs from Kamex. Seeing Dill off stage, Kamex gonna be looking for that's a that's a death. Okay. Yeah, good job on Kamex. Very interesting. And okay, this is oh. oh, never. There yeah, we go. You're hella dead. You gotta watch out for that Rob side B trap. Mm -hmm. If you can catch it though, like if you can avoid getting hit by it, you can get a big punish on Rob because for all the flak people give uh, Rob's arm rotor, it actually has like a lot of cooldown. Mm -hmm. Like you wouldn't think it because of Rob, the whole rest of Rob's kit, but it has a lot of cooldown. If you have a good recovery, you can go down there and just spike him with whatever you want. If he like falls off the stage. Oh, absolutely. If he stays on the stage, you can just charge it. You have time to charge a smash on him. Absolutely. All right. Dill uh, just about evening things up right now. As I say that, though, she gets hit by uh, another spin dash combo. <laughs> Sonic Jab, frame three. It can compete with Rob uh, pressing down tilt. <laughs> what? How did Kamek get in front of Dill like that? Hey, too fast. Too Ooh. fast. Caught another uh, kill. Some sus DI. Sus. Yo, when the DI is sus. Sonic can recover from so low, uh, giving Kamex a lot of time to really mix up his timing against Dill's down air. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That homing attack is like... is like built to harass that kind of recovery. Wow. It is. I did not realize how uniquely qualified Sonic was to do these kinds of things, and Dill doesn't pick up a punish there. I'm surprised. Oh, here we go. Gyro traps. Nothing. Yep. Oh, stage spike, but... Okay. Does a beefy. Yeah, no, uh, Kamex had... Uh, he turned around the spring so that he could come up with that, that back air. That movement was good. He anticipated that Dill might try to uh, pressure with an up air if he came down with spin dash, but no such luck. All right. Nice tech. Great tech. We are here teching. All right. Dill can still make this back, though. Mm -hmm. Although, uh... You say although. <laughs> but we've seen the zero to deaths from Rob. It's still possible. Dill's been practicing the zero to deaths. We could, we could see them right here, right now. I think Kamex waited to uh, outlast a, a hitbox with that air dodge, but just waited a little bit too long. Dill's being very wary there. She does not want to get hit plastered by, like, a forward air. Mm -hmm. I think uh, forward tail at ledge might do it. <laughs> yeah? yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. We'll call this patient play. I mean, it's understandable. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that didn't hit. Oh, oh. oh. Dill's doing a good job, like... Not like overextending here, honestly. Missed the DI there. Oh, Kamex actually grabbed the gyro out of that. I'm so, I'm so confused right now. All right, I'm gonna attack. Gonna oh. get him out of. <laughs> out of a wow! There we go. Finally. Wow. 
Well, that was a great game, honestly. Dill did a great job coming back, but mm -hmm. that whole set showed a lot of a lot of really good like restraint and perseverance, restraint and like no, just restraint from both players, like not to overextend and get into themselves into a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, very respectable from both of them. Anyway, I'm going to turn on a person extra. Hello. Am I live? Hello, you're live. You should be. Okay. Oh, Hi. Uh, so I'm long, everyone. Hello. I'm out of here. I'm back. I uh, win all secondaries in brackets, so sadly went out pretty fast, but it's whatever. It yeah. happens. I'll uh, I'll practice them more. But um, sorry. What, uh, I, who? What's your tag? Oh. I'm Force Armor. Force Armor? Yeah. Okay. Hi. I'm Extra. L. So yeah. Um, I'm. Uh, yeah. Let's get into commentary. I saw the end of that last game. Definitely really intense. Dill almost bringing it back. You know, Camex is so relieved right now. But um, mm. it's gonna be more of the same Camex style gameplay. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna see if Camex can keep it up because uh, Dill had a really unfortunate SD in game one oh, and I see. almost completely brought back uh, last stock. So let's see. There we go. Uh, Camex forward smash not gonna be able to connect. Dill so great at. Um, at stalling her recoveries. Yeah, she's so tricky. Um, it always like she always has one more thing that she's doing that you are not ready for, whether it's like a jump or like a random up air in there. But um, Kamex now with like a 60% lead. If uh, if he can close out the stock, it's gonna be so huge. Mm -hmm. One thing we actually saw uh, in game one was Kamex actually using the um, the homing attack to harass Dill, uh, stalling off stage. Uh, I'm curious if we'll see that again. Yeah, I, I could see that. Rob, you know, loves to mix up his recovery, but a homing attack, you can't mix that up. It quite literally targets you. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's definitely could be a good tool. And right now, only at 81%, this is a really good spot to be if you're Kamex. I do like the counter pick Dill did with small battlefield, not give Sonic the space to totally just, like, stay away from you, but... It seems that regardless of that, um, Kamex has a really like clear knowledge of where Dill's gonna be and when to release that spin spin dash. Mm -hmm. And Kamex is just doing a really good job of uh, making his way around uh, all of Dill's options. Dill actually, ironically, helping Kamex to get back a little bit uh, via the homing attack, uh, making sure Kamex doesn't have to recover low like he typically has to. I'm actually surprised that down B did not catch that roll in from Dill. Oh, oof. this is so rough now. Now Dill potentially could go down two stocks if Kamex can find another kill. Yeah, Dill has just not been allowed to play the game so far, but finally a forward air going to be catching Kamex coming in with a down B once again. Now, this is where Dill can definitely bring it back, is if you can hold on to the stock. You know, Sonic isn't a character that's going to kill Rob, like, willy-nilly. They need a hard, even at 125, you still need to get a read on where Rob's going to be, Rob's movement and such. And if you can't get that, then Dill's survivability can be really, really annoying to deal with. Yeah, there we go. I was, I was just about to say, uh, if Sonic can't find uh, something like just a raw smash attack, typically what he wants is edge guards, and Dill is, we talked about it before, Dill's so great at uh, mixing up her recoveries, but uh, Amex was ready for it that time with yeah. the long-lasting forward air. Straight up calling out uh, Dill jumping out of the up B, which is a mix-up Rob's love to do, um, put positioning himself in like a really smart place where she had to use the jump to hit him. Ooh, there we go. Kamex, I think, was looking for an early kill, though, but is going to find himself killed by the arm rotor. Uh, I think that, I mean, yeah, Sonic uh, typically likes to recover low uh, with the, the spring and doesn't yeah. have a, a hitbox above him, so arm rotor is perfect for that. Yeah, well, especially if you extend your double jump like Kamex did trying to get a deep edge guard. Dill knew that was a basically a guaranteed uh, kill, and this is now so much more even. You know, Dill was down almost 100% at some point. But Kamex is just racking it up again. Yeah. Oh, Dill didn't have the gyro ready. Great wow. patience by Kamex. Yeah, and I think uh, now now Kamex has been looking for a lingering nair into back air. Uh, classic Sonic kill confirm. 
Yeah, especially on ledge, you do like a short hop nair and it lingers through the whole getup. Mm -hmm. Be really strong. This is uh this is where Dill though, she is known to be able to shine in this situ in these situations. Uh, a lot of like people who like almost get upsets on Dill like are one one hit away and then she's she's really good at keeping composed. We saw last game she almost made a comeback. And right here, 96, this is kill percent for both players. Absolutely. Both players charging up their respective moves. Oof. What was that? That looked weird. Yeah, it was like he like clanked off like the ledge almost. He clanked off the opposite side of the ledge. That yeah. was weird. Kamex has to get off ledge, runs into gyro. Homie oh. attacks the gyro. That's so unfortunate. And now your Sonic. Oh, good homing attack. Like, you needed to interrupt that small window of Rob placing down the gyro, and Kamex managed to find it. Ooh, Dill has pretty much completely brought this back. Just needs one solid oh, hit. Ooh, that was almost it. Yeah, both these players last hit now. Oh, oh he went so low. It went super low. Oh, um, I was thinking maybe back throw on that nair. But... Yep. Oh my god, this gyro is stopping Kamek so much. Something that we saw him. Oh, I think. Oh, there we go. I think that wow. was maybe a little bit of a DI mix up. Uh, I think, although forward throw also can kill off the top. Oh, a really bold grab from Kamek right there to yeah. end it out. One like 160, 190 respectively, like on both players. You going for that grab could have been the end of the game, but I think Kamex had a read on how Dill was landing. You know, a Rob's gonna nair one day. Um, yeah, that? look at that. What a weird, weird place. Happy October, everybody. Haunted Smash. Uh, uh. It, like, yeah, perfectly how hits weird. that corner. How weird. <laughs> so weird. Well. You don't see that every Sonic set. So, um, yeah, good stuff from Kamex. That that second game, no SD on Dill's part. Kamex just strip was yeah. winning the whole time. You know, outplayed Dill in game two, which is really tough because Dill's known to adapt. That w I love that little sequence there of shield pressure that we just saw from Kamex. Yeah, yeah, he was really good at like not like he used homing attack a lot or like used like. Sonic's like safe moves a lot, but he constantly was mixing up when he was doing it, you know So it wasn't a matter of like if he was gonna do a move It was just what time is he gonna do it because homing attacks it even in the move itself. It's built up a timing mix-up mm -hmm. Okay, looks like we're gonna have next up John numbers versus C Caleb So this could be uh, either we fit Pac-Man or we fit me. Sorry, excuse me. We fit me gunner um <laughs> Whew, what a what a set that's gonna be. Mm -hmm. We fit Pac-Man, we fit me Gunner. Um